Okay, we have our two another interesting integral from the UNSW integration be 2024, problem 14. We have integral from zero to infinity, one over x cubed plus one, dx. Okay, now at first I was actually planning to skip this one. And the reason is just because of this integral, one over x cubed plus one. Forget about the bounds for a second. I know I've done this one before as an indefinite integral, and it's actually kind of a tedious integral, so I was just gonna bypass this one altogether because I didn't feel like doing the partial fractions. But then thinking about a little bit more with these bounds, we might be able to do something different. And the idea I came to is let's actually avoid the partial fractions. I don't know if it's better or worse, but at least we can avoid the partial fractions and maybe that'll be more interesting. So to get started on avoiding the partial fractions, what I did was a u substitution. I'm just gonna do u equal to one over x. Then solving for x, we get x equal to one over u. dx is gonna be minus one over u squared du. And I'll just go ahead with this thing. So I'll take infinity, plug it in here, our upper bound becomes zero, I'll plug zero in, then this is gonna be going to infinity. And basically this is why I chose this substitution is when you do this one over x, you flip the bounds around and then maybe we can flip them back later on. So then for our dx value, we're of this, but I'll kind of split it up, I'll write it like minus du, I'll bring the u squared over here. For x cubed, this is gonna become one over u cubed now, plus one. Then I'll take this minus sign and use it to swap the bounds again to get it back the way we had it originally. And then here I'll just take this u squared and we'll just multiply that in. So let's do that and rewrite. So then this is gonna transform. This is gonna become u squared times one over u cubed. This is gonna become just one over u. Then here we're gonna have u squared. But I actually wanna clean this up more because I don't really like having one over u there. So what I can do is let's just multiply again by u over u. We could have done it in one step, but let's just write it out. Anyway, we actually have no lower bound here, so that's a problem. So let's add a zero there. Then multiply all this stuff, and this is gonna become u du. And then we'll have here one plus u cubed. But now what I can do is a variable change. Let's just change it back to x, because what I'm trying to do is add it back to our original. That's the whole strategy here. So this is original, we'll call i, and then everything along the way is i. So when we write this in x, this is gonna become x dx. I'll change the order, so we have this as x cubed plus one. And again, this here is still i, so we'll add this together with the first one. So what we're gonna have here is two copies of the integral, or two i. Then we're, we have the same bounds. Then in the numerator, this is gonna become, we have like a one right here, so I can write this as x plus one over x cubed plus one dx. I'll divide off this two right here so we can isolate our integral and we'll just have a one half in front here. But then for x cubed plus one, what I can do with that is I can actually factor that. Actually, let's bring it over to a new copy of the integral over here. So when I factor that, it's gonna look like x plus one times x squared minus x plus one. So I'll bring all this other stuff along. We'll have our one half in front. Then our numerator is just gonna be x plus one. And then we'll have our dx here. But doing that, we get some nice cancellation. And now we just have a one in the numerator. And I suppose it was kind of a lot of work just to go from here to here. But anyway, what we have here, we can complete the square on this. So let's just do this and we'll bring over the bounds. We're going from zero to infinity. Completing the square on this, what we can do is I can write this as x minus one half squared. Multiply that out, you get the x squared. Minus a half x minus a half x is minus x. The last term is going to be plus one fourth. In order so I don't change it so we can get our plus one back, I can write this as three over four. I wanna write this as a square, so instead of writing three over four, so what I'll do instead here is actually write this, instead of writing three over four, I'll write this as square root of three over two, all squared. But then now we're perfectly set up to use our arctan formula. We don't need to do any u substitution because the derivative of this is just gonna be one dx. So we can go right to the arctan formula. What we'll have here is I'll have a half up front. Then we're gonna need the reciprocal of this value here. So what that's gonna become is we'll flip it and we'll get two over square root of three, and this will become arctan. Again, the same value, two square root of three times our input, x minus one half. And then what I'll do is I'm just gonna clean this up a little bit. We can cancel twos here, and I can distribute in this two. So when I rewrite this, what we're looking at is one over square root of three, arctan. And multiplying in this two, we get two x minus one, over square root of three, and we just need to evaluate from zero to infinity. So for our evaluation, let's pull the one over square root of three out front here like this. When you plug in infinity arctan at infinity, that's gonna happen at pi over two minus, plugging a zero in here, we're gonna have this become minus one over square root of three arctan of minus one over square root of three, that's gonna happen at minus pi over six. Minus times minus is plus, get a common denominator over here by multiplying by three so that this becomes three pi over six plus pi over six 
or four pi over six, but then I can reduce this to two pi over three. Multiplying two pi over three times one over square root of three, we get our final solution of just two pi over three square root of three. So there you have it. It's not that quick, but I still prefer to doing partial fractions. Thanks everyone for watching. Have a good day.